Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Those of us on this channel, we know the world is biblical. It's good and bad news. The good news is the glorious gospel of truth of our Lord Jesus Christ. He died upon the cross, was buried and resurrected three days later. According to the scriptures, this is true. This is the truth in the world. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, the life. Always and forever, never changing. He will not change from being the truth. You can trust him. Meanwhile, in the biblical world, the bad news, you can't trust anyone in the world. Brothers and sisters, everything is sold out. Every industry, and it's even normal, quote-unquote, regular, quote-unquote, people on our streets, but it is especially celebrities, like musicians and actors. Aesop Rocky, he's a famous rapper. Are he and his friends here deep in prayer to Jesus? Or are they praying to the small g God of this world? He's looking up towards the heavens, and he's got his hands in sort of a prayer pose. Here he is working on his music, you know, with some nice candles for atmosphere <laughs> and standing in the pentagram in the circle. It's not funny. I don't mean to laugh like this, but the world is ridiculous. People cannot see this. Oh, this is totally normal, right? He's not into Satanism or anything. He's just doing exactly what Satanism is about. So we must use our common sense. We must use our discernment and discretion in all things. Even with Christians that we trust, we must always go to the word of God. We must always trust in our Lord Jesus Christ. So, you know, working on his music in the pentagram and the circle, nothing to see here. No need to research. Nope. Every Christian's favorite magazine is ID Magazine because it has satanic one-eye symbol symbolism on every cover, sometimes more symbolism. Here is ASAP Rocky on ID Magazine darkening one of his eyes utterly for one-eye symbolism. Isn't that great? This, right? Who is your God? Is your God Jesus? Is your God Satan or Lucifer? Is your God money? You can't serve both of them. And it seems like much of the industries of the world, especially like rap and hip hop, like I know it's not all of that, but there is a lot of it. There's a lot of like flashing your cash around. It's very prideful. It's very vain. When you think about it, like what is money? What is this paper here? We give it a value. That value can go up and down depending on the weight of the world, but it's just paper. Are, like, does this save you? Does this give you real satisfaction? Well, I bought four more nice houses and a bunch of nice cars. Wow, whoop de doo Does that satisfy your soul? Very seriously. I know myself and brothers and sisters. The soul satisfaction comes in nothing we've done, but what Jesus has done. He's our Lord God and Savior who has done it all for us. He offers a future that is great forever. This is a mistake there are young people especially that go, wow, I want to be like that. I want fame and fortune and whatever. These people influence children and other people and adults, but especially children. Children are very, you know, naive at times. They're, they can be influenced greatly by quote-unquote superstars, famous people. And if you ask them about their fame, fortune, and success, what do you think they're going to say? And Aesop Rocky is doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. Of course he is, because this world is full of pride. The pride of humanity to pose like this, to pose like all the other pictures we've just seen, right? Working on your music, a pentagram in a circle with candles, d doing the vow of silence, and then doing the yoga mudra that's supposed to represent supreme enlightenment. It is the ego and pride of humanity to pose like this. Brothers and sisters, everyone watching, God bless you.